The presentation's about getting switched on. I'm just saying there's a lot of people switched off. If you're going out for a listing presentation and you walk into that home, you should brighten that place when you walk in. Is that true? Some people brighten it when they leave. There's a number. What, what does the number of people say? How long it takes to change? It takes this many days. What, what would y'all say? Who's heard 21? Okay, it's a popular number. Here's the good news. There's no research to validate there's anything magic about 21 days or 30 days or whatever. Here's a belief, a streak. Everybody take a deep breath for me. Deep breath. I want to take a second and get inside your head. Ask yourself, what is something you think maybe you're neglecting? Think about that. What is something you need to start doing that you're not doing right now for yourself? Here's the good news, write it in for me. A streak starts with one if you'd write that down. A streak starts with one. If you truly say, I'm gonna start doing that, you made a decision, is that true? You started your streak that first day. Here's the key, don't kill it. It was really important. It, people complicate change, oh, it takes so long to change. No, it doesn't. If you truly believe, if you believe that, does that make a difference? If you say, no, Chip, it takes 35 days. If you think it takes 35 days, guess what? It takes 35 days. If you think a streak starts with one, it starts with one. Let me give you a good analogy. I've been married 20 years. I've got three kids, Madison in college, 18. Got a son, uh, uh, Davis is 16, a little guy, 11. And I want to stay in good shape. And they're both, I played a lot of golf and they're golfers. My son plays hockey too. And I wanted to get in shape. I was reading an article with a guy. And the guy said, what do you do to stay in shape? He said, one of his little simple disciplines was to make sure he does 10,000 push-ups a year. Sounds impressive, doesn't it? You do the math, though, and break it down by 365 days, that's 28 a day. But it's 28 every day, day after day. So I thought, hey, I'm going to start a streak. And this was 26 months ago, right after Thanksgiving in uh, 13. And I downloaded this app. Who has a smartphone? They have these app things, okay? And I downloaded this push-up app right there. There's lots of them. And this alarm goes off every day. And you get down and you put it down on the ground and you touch your nose to it and you start doing push-ups. How many can you do? And it builds a set of five. Every time you're done, it says, was it right or was it easy? If it's easy, what does it do? Up a little bit. Here's, here's the beauty of personal growth. If you get this, you'll get my whole message. Um, 28 a day, good goal. Would you all agree? Is that easy to do? How long would it take to sit down and do 28 push-ups? My God, easy is something you can do. Would you agree? Is that easy to do? Yeah. Yes. Here's the key. Some of you might have to do 14 sets of two. <laughs> In about a week or two, you're going to be doing four sets of seven. A couple weeks after that, you're going to be doing two sets of 14. And then it's amazing. You're going to do 28 in a row. But some people say, well, geez, Chip, all I can do is four. That's all you can do today. What streak do you have to start? Here's the key. Start a streak and don't kill it. months, some people light it up in real estate. Is that true? They do really well. I call those people ignorance on fire. I mean, they don't even know what they don't know. They just go out and make it happen. Is that true? Ignorance on fire. Is that a good thing to have once in a while? You don't know what's not possible. What's the opposite of ignorance on fire? People who are knowledge on ice. Here's the key. Most people, when you learn something new, how well do you do it in the beginning? Poorly, you gotta do it poorly. Anything you do great right now, you don't pick it up overnight. You do it poorly, 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 and here's the key. Here's the gift I wanna give some of you. Most of you can look back in your real estate career and you had some self-doubt at one point, but then there's one sale, one day, one moment when you walk out of the house and go, I got this, I own this, I can do that now, is that true? But here's the key, some people quit before that moment. 
If you're new in this business right now, everybody, it's okay to do stuff poorly. Don't make the same mistakes over and over and over. It's okay to do something poorly. Chip Eichelberger was the keynote speaker at our ARIC, Australasian Real Estate Conference last year. He rated the number one speaker at the conference, which didn't surprise me because he nailed it. Both days he opened the event, we had about three and a half thousand people in the room and Chip just created such an amazing energy and such a great platform to build a conference on. So I think if anyone's thinking of bringing someone on to inspire, to motivate, to give people process, to help unblock blockages in sales agents and management's mind, Chip is as good as I've ever seen. In 20 years of running the conference, Chip has just nailed it. So I'm a raving fan of Chips, and I think anyone that's thinking of having a great event that wants an inspirational speaker, you need to book Chip. I've had the privilege of knowing Chip now for about eight years. We've done dozens of events together. One of the things and one of the reasons I highly recommend Chip is he comes in early, makes sure he understands the audience, the strategy, the campaigns you might be embarking upon, and then brings it the next day in the presentation. And he just not only gets the audience switched on, but he comes switched on, and the results have been fabulous. My favorite band is U2. Any U2 fans? The rest of you are here of U2. Irish band, Bono, The Edge, okay, you're with me here. And uh, the article I saw talked about them, they still are the, high, been around 32 years, highest grossing band when they go out and tour, nobody's even close, still creating new music. And uh, they were talking about Vertigo, most you remember that song, that album won three Grammys, that song was Song of the Year. And Bono said this, he says, an early version of Vertigo, and I love this language, was massaged, hammered, tweaked, and lubed. Sometimes with your business, you have to massage it, hammer it, tweak it, lube it, and they listen to the playback, and everybody said, man, got the universal stamp of very good. Everybody agreed it was very good. But this is what Bono said. Very good is the enemy of great. You think great is right next door? It's not. It's in another country. Where do we need to have the difference outline between a good and a great experience? So, for example, there's a good way to maintain your property inside and out in a great way. Is that true? Big gap, okay? Another one might be preparing a clean and comfortable room. There's a good way to get it ready quickly. There's a great way maybe to make sure you're pulling out the nightstands, getting underneath there, getting underneath the bed, checking everything in the shower, checking the shower head. Good way, great way. Another way, first impression at check-in. I'll talk about that in a minute. That momentary connection there, because I hate it. I travel a lot like many of you do. Even at a full-service hotel, I'll be there and they look at me and go, Checking in? It's 10.30 at night and I've got my bags behind me. Sherlock Holmes, is that right? Yes, checking in, yeah, okay. Really, really assumptive. Versus, hey, welcome to the Motel 6. We're so glad you're here. We left the light on. Let's get you set up. Big difference, right? Well, at the end of the day, Chip just took it. He took the energy. He made everybody remind themselves why they're in the business, what makes it so important and he actually had them break through any kind of mental barriers that they had for themselves and how they could make the best for themselves, their families, and their workplace and get to the finish line. Quality of your life, quality of your questions. Look at the back of the card there and it says, where am I now, zero to 10? Zero's comatose, 10, you're at your best. There's not a great performer, athlete, actor, who just jumps on stage, is that right? They have some kind of routine. And he, uh, Rolling Stones fans here? Any Rolling Stones fans? Mick is 72, out on tour, bringing it every single night. Got his A game every single night. I saw a story about the Stones. They were in Rio doing a program on the beach for a million people. How do you set up speakers for a million people so there's no feedback and no echo? But the key thing that is, okay, here's how Ronnie Wood likes his dressing room, okay? Here's how Keith likes his. That was very interesting, okay? And then Mick, Mick needed to have, they said, a 40-yard stretch in his dressing room. That was the key thing he had to have. Why did he have that? Because he is doing wind sprints before he takes that stage, everybody. He brings it every night. The belief I have here, it says this, bring the energy into the day with you. You want to be switched on more often? You want to add more value? You want to have more fun? Bring the energy. If you have low energy, does that impact your business? Impacts your relationships, okay? Impacts the ability to be a thermostat. So that's what I'm going to talk about here. On the next fill in the blank right there, um, and here's the question. We're going to talk about what's your routine. 
you got to have a routine. You can't wing it. You can't wait for something to happen. Oh, then I'm going to feel better. What's your routine to have a high energy day and to bring more energy into your day? Don't wing it. Now, at least for example, let's say we had a workshop and you were asked to speak and you got 20 high net worth people in the room right next door and you got to go talk to them. Is that good news? Would you want to get in front of them the way you're standing and breathing right this second? Most people know. Would you agree? So put your cards down. Put your cards down. Roll your shoulders just a little bit. Roll your shoulders a little bit. This doesn't count as a workout. You can't knock off your workout thing for this, okay? Okay, big smile. I'm going to teach you how long should it go from, how long should it take to go from a two to a ten? How long should it take? Quick if you've got a routine. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to create a trigger where you feel unstoppable instantly. Would that be good? Because we're going to do a little deal here in a couple minutes. You're going to need this energy. So big smile. We're going to anchor you to being unstoppable. Big smile on your face. Okay, on the count of three, we're just going to go one, two, three, yes, like that. Here we go. Big smile. One, two, three, yes. yes. Now, where was that zero to ten? Where was that? About a six. Not bad. A couple of you have to take your hands out of your pockets for me here, okay? <laughs> okay. Let's go to a ten. Big smile. One, two, three, yes. yes. That was a lot. A lot of you. The first one was a ten, Chip. We're just out of control. <laughs> smile for me. Smile. And on the count of three, we're just going to go one, two, three, yes. Here we go. Big smile. Quiet. One, two, three, yes. yes. Okay, some of you couldn't hold back. That's okay, that's good. <laughs> Couple of you are doing what I call the two to a 10 to a two. This is what it looks like. Yes. <laughs> Try it again, a little more energy. Yes, here we go. One, two, three, yes. Okay, now a little bit more volume. One, two, three, yes. Okay, not bad. Now I want you to do it one more time. More volume, but I want you to hold it for five seconds. Big smile, big smile. Here we go. One, two, three. Yes! Now turn around, look at your friends. Turn around. Look, 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 look. I know that's kind of silly, but that, some of you feel better than you have in a month right there. That's good. Okay? But I'm just saying, here's the energy you need. I mean, at the end of the day, can your home life get off track first five seconds in the door? You gotta take a second, look up and smile and say, why am I so blessed to have this family? What do I love about them? <sighs> yes! <laughs> Don't walk in, oh, it's been a bad day. Give me a beer in a half an hour, get the hell out of my way. <laughs> Not recommended, okay? Now here's the key. I'd much rather get in front of that group right now. Is that true? You have to bring the energy into the day with you. Reevaluate your routine. All those little things count. What you read, what you watch, how you get up, exercise, not exercise, what you eat, how you approach your staff, how you're having fun, all of it counts, but you have to go re-evaluate. So that's the value of this little card. You got a client coming in for a yearly review, get up. <sighs> Take a second, get really clear, go over your notes, fantastic, and boom, it's showtime when they walk in the door, is that right? They deserve your A game. Putting the throttle down in the morning with his address to our group, just really gave our team, our 200 employees, the energy to go through the entire day. And the pinnacle, the icing on the cake, was at the nearing the end of the program, bringing Chip up and going through the board breaking exercise and watching the impossible become possible. Wow, we just finished our third event with uh, Chip Eichelberger, and I've got to say we had some people that were skeptical before because we've had some speakers that really weren't very good, and we felt like we got burned. So it was a long time since we've uh, paid some good money to have somebody come in. Chip just did three events in a row. I don't know how he did it. He got better and better each time. What I loved was he spent the time to get to know us, to know who we are, how we function, our lingo, our verbiage, you know, just, just who we are, how, how we operate. And he wove that right into his presentation, which was tremendous. It's in your moments of decisions, like you wrote on your board right here, that you shape your destiny. Okay? I hope you chose well. Thank you very much for the gift of your morning. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you great. One, two, three. Yeah! 
Chip is a proven pro with over 20 years of experience. He does his homework every time to customize his message. He brings contagious energy that will impact your event. He promises to work hard to exceed your expectations. Please contact the rep at the Speakers Bureau who recommended Chip.